But first, it's Liquid's very own Jinro, the Swedish Terran player who's still living in Korea, spawning at the left bottom side of Daybreak. And SKMC, and I'm very always so tempted to say SK OGS MC, but I'm gonna try to stick with SKMC because he is exclusively MC. Yes. SK is not a horn man. That does make sense. I'm just gonna leave it alone. <laughs> Uh, what's the important message, Gav? Uh, the important message is that despite perhaps we don't have everything uh, ready yet with graphics whatsoever, we I can guarantee you guys, everybody at home, there have been... We have got a really awesome crew over here. And these guys, all our graphic artists, all the guys who make our videos, our overlays whatsoever, they've been working over hours. Literally, one day I decided to go to the office at 4.30 because I thought like, okay, look at me, I'm so dedicated. I don't have time to play ladder, so I'm just gonna wake up in the middle of the night, I go to the office because I have no internet at home and I'm gonna play ladder. We walk in the office, we see graphic artists already there. They show up, or, or still there, I don't even know what the deal was. So. I don't think they leave. No, <laughs> I think they all I live I'm here. I'm pretty sure there's like a cot in the back room where so they just all sleep. So really huge props to those guys and the few things that we do not have ready yet, they're on top of it and hopefully yeah. we'll have everything ready soon. Apologies about the QXC interview guys. We had him on Skype and then somehow we dropped him. Uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, May I don't know, I, don't I have no idea why he's not, why we didn't get to do that. But uh, unfortunately there will be no QXC interview. Interesting Ben, uh, I'm pretty sure that if General was still living in Europe, he would have probably gone for the no gas fast expand like literally every top level European Terran player does. However, we see a refinery for, for a general yep. already. So uh, More, uh, more hmm. Korean-like TVP opening and that's very fitting to this matchup as MC is of course maybe the best Korean Protoss. Certainly one of. Definitely. Who is the best Korean Protoss, I wonder? Right now? I don't know. It's <laughs> I, think, I think it's hard to pick one. There's a, there's a couple really good ones. Yeah, of course. MC is one of those really good of ones. Of course. Uh, Genius has been really good, even though he slumped for a while, but going so far in the DSL again. I really like Puzzle too. I think Puzzle's awesome. Alicia has been one of my favorites. I heard a lot about good things about Seed. Well, I cannot... Uh, well, I'm really... Uh, th well, we're basically standing in the midst of StarCraft tournament season, so yes. I'm pretty stoked to see all the neat results that come out. And uh, like, like Duran was talking about, Iron Squid Top 8 is all Korean. Yeah, I saw that. So... Hey, I'm... Hmm... General seems that he wants to fake a and no fake gas expand. fast expand, but I think this is, I don't know if this is going to work. It might work. He's still on one refinery, so he's not going for Cloak Banshees. That's pretty safe to say. We do see MC going for the uh, one assimilator, one gas, one gate fast expand with only one gas. So this is potentially what General wants. He wants to uh, make sure that MC believes that he's expanding. MC is going to get that confirmed right now. He's like, okay, there's a command center behind that. Well, actually... Da -da -da -dum, da -dum. Oh, I think we're going to see Hellion drops. And I love mm. this band. I think that's so smart. However, SKMC does go for three gate expand. If he would have gone one gate, Robo, mm -hmm. two more gates, MC would have been in big trouble. But even now, Protoss doesn't have a lot of units in this phase of the game. So if there are a few Marines in your natural and there are Hellions in your main, it's so hard to um, deal with that efficiently. Yep, a little bit of a skirmish outside of Jinro's natural as MC pokes around. Has microed well, hasn't taken too much damage on any of those stalkers. Just one shot on one, the what rest was only do? shield damage. What is this we gonna do? Mm. Crouching oh. SCV, hidden bunker. Hidden supply depot. <laughs> doesn't, uh, doesn't, not quite as scary as a hidden pylon. No. Today I had a pylon in my base. I was really mad. I saw that. Yeah, he was mad. The guy was so terrible. He should have apologized for playing Protoss. <laughs> apologized for playing that race. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> My own race. <laughs> Two more Rexes going up for Jinro, so it seems like he wants to continue this with even more aggression. And ooh, he's just gonna drop these aliens over here. Yeah, interesting. He did scout the natural. So I wish he where are those Marines then, Ben? Maybe he's gonna send the medevac to the main and try to pull MC into the main and then run the I would have still the loved to just see him bring the Marines along as well, because now MC is going to realize within 10 seconds that all he really has to worry about are these three Hellions, and suddenly that's not that scary anymore. Look, okay, all of MC's stalkers are in the main, Kevin. No, he's, he's not all of them. Stop lying. Uh, oh, you're right. Well, now they're all in the main. They're all moving that way. MC has taken the bait, and Jinro oh, wow, is going to run so right cool. into the natural. What an awesome fake by Jinro. He's going to get a handful of probe kills. Uh, but, uh, you know, he's oh, still him up. expanded. He didn't line him up yet, but so far, so good for Jinro. And you were right, man. That's exactly what he did. And actually, it made perfect sense. Even though if he had the Marines there, maybe uh, once those socks would have actually gone down, it would have been even scarier. But he already took some damage at the Metafax, so maybe he wouldn't have achieved much more than he did right now. And what he did achieve, 
10 worker kills, and that's yep. good. That's Takes really, MC really down good. to uh, 32 probes against 24 SCVs. Jinra's still on one base. I guess it's going to be a big, strong one base push, yeah, like yeah. a pseudo 111 behind this Hellion opening. I think that's definitely what it's going to be. And the good thing is, not just that he killed 10 uh, probes, that he slowed down the economy of MC. The most important thing is that MC is going to chrono boost out more probes rather than chrono boosting out units when dealing with a 111 build. I wonder if MCC is just going to run best his bunker right now. He's going to see the siege tanks and he should know what time it is. Jinra threatening to drop again, but uh, MC of course has units in good positions. 40 army supply for Jinro against the 22 of MC. This is a scary moment as he begins to push. Just following MC's play camera right now, guys. So if you're wondering what the hell is Rotten Am doing, oh, we have the first Banshee over here from Jinro. Uh, it doesn't well, really do anything. Spot. You move that Banshee, Jinro. Wow, MC lost one or two stocks over here, man. I was I missed it. I was I was I was definitely following the Banshee, which did get away, but I'm she's sure very low on health. Hmm. Thirty seven works right now. I mean MC's still gonna get a scary army out. First Immortal is out. Second Immortal he's probably gonna start straight after yes, he's already queued up and I think that's smart. But it's still all gonna come down to positioning. And I love this by MC by the way. When you deal with one base strategies, you want to fight as far away from your base as possible because you want to delay it. MC knows every minute that goes by is a good minute for him because he's uh, severely outmining Jinro right now. Yep. Um, I kind of have the question in the back of my mind, is Jinro going to send all of his SCVs and win? I don't think all of them, but it, uh, I think a little bit more than he did so far, and that's exactly what he's going to do, man. He sends three more. I wonder why he's mining so much gas right now. I think that's a small mistake. Yeah, he's going to have a hard Look. time spinning. It does catch these stalkers out in the open. Nice job by MC. Oh, almost picked off the down. medevac. The medevac. They did pick off a Hellion already, that's good. He's going to lose one stock right now. This is the moment where you have to be so careful. Army supply, 55 for Jinro, 46 for SKMC. Oh, Jinro. Uh, this looks promising for Jinro. I think it looks promising for Jinro. But he needs to siege up right siege now. Siege mode is done. Oh, and here we go. Late. Tanks are sieged. And it is very late, but the Zealots all melting away. Will the tanks be able to deal with these Immortals? It doesn't look like it. SCV is showing up late to the party. MC crushes Jinro's push. Wow. GG comes out of Jinro and MC goes up 1-0 very quickly. I really thought that looked promising for Jinro and in my opinion it still did look promising for Jinro. He had a bigger army supply but he just he should have sieged yep. one tank straight away. Yep. Right now there were six, seven stalkers standing in a beautiful concave basically picking away at first the medevac, then the banshee, then the next banshee and the zealots were literally slicing the marines already before the tanks were sieged and that's just too late. You can't execute one on one like that. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're, you're very clearly right. So uh, I mis misplayed a little bit by Genro. Um, maybe he mm -hmm. should have sieged one on the low ground and sort of inch forward, but he was still kind of hurrying, you know? MC had already sort of closed the supply gap. Yeah, but still, like, even supply in that phase of the game is good for Terran because the Benchies have sick DPS and Marines are covered by the tanks, so you can't really out micro the Marines with the Stalkers. So Protoss really needs, like, either a sick engagement or something that really deals with Marines properly, but since there was no Storm, mm -hmm. no Colossus, that was basically a good scenario for Genro. That was also just straight up all in from Jinro. So which begs the question, true. why only bring five, four or five SCVs? You're right, and, le and leave six on refinery. Yeah. When you probably want to reinforce with, well, maybe a Banshee. Or I don't know, man. I think it looked promising for Jinro, as I said several times, and I think he could have got more out of it. So uh, we, uh, we are going to play a very short commercial, folks, while we set up the second game. Uh, that first one was brought to you by Kingston HyperX. Please go to kingston.com slash na slash products to check out their line of ram and ssds i think that's the right address kingston.com will get you halfway there uh short commercial break and then game two Jinro versus mc